Welcome to the Waldock Way. My name is Emily. Today's video is our Greek mythology morning basket. For Mad Libs and Trivia, we have National Geographic Kids Funny Fill-In, My Greek Mythology Adventure. It's very similar to a Mad Libs. You fill out the little story with different parts of speech. There are also fun facts on each page as well. Then we have weird but true know-it-all Greek mythology. And last, I threw in these Would You Rather cards that are part of our new Greek Heroes and Myths study because I thought they would be a really fun way to kind of kick off our morning basket each morning. So would you rather be called Aphrodite or Venus? Would you rather be gifted lightning bolts or a trident? Would you rather be able to make plants grow on earth or make star shapes appear in the heavens? So just a fun way to kind of start our morning time with some conversation. We haven't done poetry in our morning basket in a while, but when I found this book, I knew I was adding it in because it is reverso poems about Greek mythology. So it's Echo Echo. And I think this is going to be so much fun. In case you don't know what a reverso poem is, it's basically the poem is written and then it is the opposite. So when the world was young is the last sentence here and it is the first sentence here. So this whole book is poems that are reversed like that, that all have to do with Greek mythology. For read alouds, we have the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. We'll be reading all five of these. The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, the Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. We also have a ton of options for Greek mythology to read about the different myths. I am 100% sure we will not read all of these in their entirety, but I have them all in our basket so that we can explore the different myths in multiple different ways from multiple different books. So we will be reading pieces and parts from most of these, but we will not read them in their entirety. So please note that now. We have the Ancient Myths Collection. These four are Roman myths, so we will not be reading those four, but we will read these. We have the Usborne Illustrated Stories of Greek Mythology. Now, I'm definitely sure we're gonna read the majority of these just because I love how pretty this book is. It doesn't have a lot of myths in it, but which ones it has, we will definitely read because, I mean, I just wanna read it, because look at that. We have a child's introduction to Greek mythology. The stories of the gods, goddesses, heroes, monsters, and other mythical creatures. The Usborne Book of Greek Myths. This one is a little bit more advanced than the illustrated, but it is still just as pretty. And it also has a lot more myths in it. We have the DK Greek myths, meet the heroes, gods, and monsters of ancient Greece. Here's that table of contents. Okay. 
and we have the National Geographic Treasury of Greek Mythology, Classic Stories of Gods, Goddesses, Heroes, and Monsters. Now, this one we will read in its entirety only because it is the required book for Greek heroes and myths, which is our new unit study. So we will be reading it in its entirety to go along with that. And the last Greek myth book, but it is definitely not the least, Dolores Book of Greek Myths. And here is the table of contents for it. For hands-on activities, we have this Greek mythology Parthenon brain teaser. So it's a wooden puzzle and the whole thing comes apart and she has to try to figure out how to get it back together. We have the Greek myths magic painting book. I love these for morning time because the only thing you need is water and it makes the most beautiful, vibrant pictures. And then we have the Greeks, Myths, and Mazes. You guys, this book is humongous. Um, and it's hardback, which I was not expecting it to be. But these mazes are literally amazing. Emily is so excited to do it. And there's tons of them in here. She is planning to do all of these during morning time. And then the last thing that we are going to do is have all of our wooden blocks out for her so that she can build some of the different places that Percy is going in the book series as he goes, such as the um, Gateway Arch and the different museums and the hotels and things like that. And then we have a lot more games than usual. And that is because this is our first morning basket of a new school year and games are Emily's love language. And so I really wanted to make sure that I was making a point to fill her bucket first thing in the day with them. So I made sure to infuse our Greek mythology morning basket with a lot of different games that we could play that play in less than 30 minutes. So they're mostly quick play games. So the first one I have is Top Trump's Greek mythology. Top Trump's is a war like game where you are playing against different things. So strength, magic, terror, audacity, and top trump rating for the different gods and goddesses. And then there's always fun facts about them as well. This is a printable version of Greek mythology, Spot It. It comes with Greek heroes and myths. So we will be playing this since Spot It is one of our favorite games and it's a quick play. With two people, this game plays pretty quick. With more, it could go a little bit longer, but Zeus on the Loose is so much fun and it's gonna sneak some math in because what you're trying to do is get Mount Olympus to 100 and you do that with all of these different numbers. As you're laying the numbers down, Mount Olympus is basically your discard pile and so you have to keep track by adding and subtracting all of the different numbers and specialty cards, so. Sneaking in some math into our morning basket. Bingo with the Greeks. This is Greek god and goddess Bingo. This is part of Greek heroes and myths as well. Then we have Monstrous, the game of mythic mayhem. It's a card throwing game of mythic mayhem for Olympians of all ages. Throw your monster Use your monster trap powers, use your pa monster's powers, use location powers, and gain faith to win. We haven't played this one yet, but it looks like a ton of fun. Fight for Olympus, which is a two-player game. I'm always looking for great two-player games for our morning basket because we are typically playing just Emily and I. So Mount Olympus, the home of the gods, your biggest desire. With your heroes by your side, you're ready for the decisive duel. Can you defeat your opponent and conquer Mount Olympus? And then last we have Santorini, 
This is two to four players, but it plays really, really well with two players as well. And you're basically building Santorini with all of these block pieces. It is a lot of fun. As Socrates would say, wonder is the beginning of wisdom. Thank you.